This is Alim from Javelin. In this video, I will demonstrate the direct modeling functionality of SOLIDWORKS Mechanical Conceptual. All the products I'm gonna use in this demonstration have been created by SOLIDWORKS. So, let's see how this product has been modeled. A simple extrusion, followed by filleting the bottom edges, shelling, a sketch defining the position of two holes and uh, I'm just going to remove this horizontal relation for this center line because it's already uh, it already has its position defined by the symmetrical relations between these two edges and itself. Notice the two endpoints are 20 millimeters away from these bottom edges and this sketch has been used in defining the position of two holes. After that, this part has been in inserted in an assembly and uh, another product would interfere with the part. So let's see how we can fix this issue uh, using direct modeling. One thing that SOLIDWORKS Mechanical Conceptual implemented very well is the ability of selectively turning to direct edit um, individual features. So I'm not going to destroy the whole feature tree by turning this to direct edit. So I, I'm going to start with selecting maybe the first feature. I can select it from the tree or I can select the face that was created or modified by that feature. So let's use convert to direct edit. And to make things more interesting, I'm also going to select a feature from the end. So the first one on the, on the beginning and the last one in the tree have been converted to direct edit. And take a look what happens. The first extrude and the last extrude cut have been changed to direct edit. Nothing else has been disturbed. And all the relations between the edges and faces that are defined in, uh, in the other features are being maintained. So let's see what's happening if I move this face. I'm just going to move it slightly, let's say, in about 4 millimeters. Notice how the the two holes have changed position in order to keep the 20 millimeters distance between that face and the holes. Now let's try to make this flush with this face because this is actually what I want, right? I know that I have interference here. So let's see how this can be done. I can press the Alt key and just drag this arrow and so leave the mouse on the other face. That will make sure that the two faces are matching. So that's one thing I can do. Let's undo this. The other thing I can also do is selecting these two faces and applying a coplanar relation. Because I selected this one first, this is the one that's going to move. The other one is going to stay uh, fixed. And as you can see, the same um, behavior has been, uh, has been done. Actually, one of the faces got consumed, so they got unified or uh, merged into one face. A relation has been uh, applied here, the coplanar relation between the faces. In this case, I don't really need this one, so I can just uh, delete it. Next, let's make things more interesting. I'm going to rotate this face. This robot can be moved uh, on any edge or face in order to apply uh, more control in your uh, translation or rotation. So right now I'm fixing that edge and I'm just going to rotate this about, let's say, 15 degrees. What happened with the holes? Well, they moved. Let's see how they moved. So if I'm looking at the original sketch, notice that the 20 millimeter distance has been maintained normal to that edge. Let's uh, rotate this face further. So I'm going to take the robot and drag it to this edge. And let's rotate another 30 degrees this way. And as you can see, I have not disturbed anything on the existing feature. The fillet is still there, the shell is still there, the holes are still there. Now let's take a look at another example. This part has been imported, so it, it has just a feature called imported body. And one thing I'm going to try to do is to make this pocket disappear. Of course I can select all these um, faces and delete them, but one thing I'm going to do, first of all, let's convert this imported body feature to direct edit. And let's get rid of this face just by dragging this down. 
notice how it got consumed. So one thing that you might be, you might want to be careful uh, when you apply this technique is that when you drag a face, you don't get it back. It's consumed. There is no record on the tree uh, about that happening. Now notice one thing: SolidWorks identified the fillets in this case. So let's undo this. I'm going to undo it twice and let's see what I need to do in order not to recognize the fillet. So when you go to direct edit, this is the control that would allow you to recognize or not recognize fillets. So in this case I want to recognize the fillets because I might want to delete them after the fact. It's much easier to delete a feature, right? So let's select them from here and just delete them. And as you can see all the fillets are gone. Now let's get rid of this face, I'm just going to move it down. And now let's try to get this flush with this. So I'm going to apply a relation. I can use the Alt key as I showed you before, but if I select both of them, I'm going to apply the coplanar relation. Now one thing you might want to be careful of, even though that face is not shown there, actually it's still there in this specific case. And uh, you can go to the view menu, view toolbar, sorry and change the behavior of displaying the smooth edges, the tangent edges, yes or no. So as you can see here, the face is still there. If you want to delete the face, you can do it at this point and SOLIDWORKS will automatically patch everything. Obviously the direct editing constraint that I applied, the coplanar, is going to be uh, dangling so I can delete it after the fact. Now you can apply all kinds of relations. I'm going to say that these two faces are, for example, concentric. So if I move one of them, I want the other one to move with it, right? Um, I can even apply dimensions. So uh, I can say the distance between this face and this face is something. So let's do that. The distance between this and this is going to be instead of 65, it's going to be 80. And notice how this has changed, depending again in on which one I I move first versus the other one. I, the other thing I can specify is that the face is fixed, so I know that it's not going to move. I'm going to select this face and say, you know what, this is going to be fixed. So if I apply dimensions, I know this is going to be stationary. As you can see, there are lots and lots of um, different workflows you can apply direct editing for. The thing I like the most is the fact that it does not really destroy uh, the history completely, unless you want to. Thank you.